you could be getting over a hundred legendary commander sculptures per month in rise of kingdoms and if you're not then this video is for you because today i'm going to share with you every single way that you can be getting legendary commander sculptures for free right now is the most important time to save legendary commander sculptures you can see right here i have over a thousand saved up because next month we're going to be getting ranged combat in the game which might come with a new troop type and we have a halloween event coming up we have a thanksgiving event coming up we have a Christmas event coming up and we have a New Year's event coming up all between now and the end of the year so stay tuned to learn how you can get the most amount of legendary commander sculptures for all of the events that are coming very soon but first cheers let's get right into it guys I have like 18 max legendary commanders so I've been doing this for a while and that's not including commanders like Nebu or Saladin which I already have a ton of sculptures into as well in the first place that you're gonna get a ton of legendary commander sculptures for free is through the VIP system once you hit VIP 10 you're gonna be getting one legendary commander sculpture per day just by logging in and this is huge if you're a new player you're gonna want to focus on putting a ton of gems into your VIP system during the more than gems event and we'll talk about that later in the video as you continue to play the game more and hopefully join a really powerful alliance you're gonna hit VIP 12 which gives you two legendary commander sculptures per day and then eventually VIP 14 is three legendary commander sculptures per day. That's 90 legendary commander sculptures per month right there just from logging in. So you can see how important it is that you focus on your VIP, especially in the early game and especially as a free to play player. Because if you plan on playing this game for a long period of time, this is going to be an insane amount of value. Now, the next thing we have to talk about is Ark of Osiris. Now, this is a bi weekly event that you should be doing. And if you're in a really good alliance that knows how to play this event, then you can sort of guarantee at least 20 legendary commander sculptures per month now that's if you win both of your matches and you have an individual score of at least 10,000, which is relatively easy to do i would say maybe a little bit harder for free to play in the early game even if you lose you're still going to be getting a nice amount of legendary commander sculptures every other week so again participate in this event it usually happens on uh, on the weekends which unfortunately for me means I can't do them because I work which really sucks not to mention you could be getting a bunch of gems speed ups and a ton of other really good stuff from this event so definitely make sure that you do this and if you win both events every single month and your VIP 14 then you're already at a hundred legendary commander sculptures or more per month which is insane next we have the Karak ceremony and this I believe comes around once every single month it might be a little bit more often than that but if you are able to complete the Karak ceremony on the highest difficulty then you're going to be getting I believe it's 13 total legendary commander sculptures from the individual event there's also the Alliance portion of the event where you do have a chance to get legendary commander sculptures as well so make sure you participate in both portions of the Karak ceremony event and you want to complete this pretty much as soon as it comes around that way if your Alliance decides to go ahead and do the Alliance portion of the event you are ready to go next let's talk about holiday events in particular the 7000 gem event now this is the best event that you can participate in for holidays this was last year's magic snowman event and I imagine we'll either see a very similar event for Christmas Thanksgiving or Halloween or maybe if we're lucky two out of the three but essentially this event has multiple tiers of rewards there is a free tier on the left here the center tier is a 7,000 gem cost to unlock. And then finally, there is a $10 tier off on the right. The 7,000 gem portion may seem expensive. However, you have to keep in mind that if you come all the way to the end here, you can see there's 2000 gems at the end anyways. So essentially what the strategy is, is that you go ahead and participate in the event as much as possible and once you get all the way to level 25 then you spend 7,000 gems to unlock this second tier and right when you do that you're going to claim all the rewards for all the levels and this includes i believe about 35 legendary commander sculptures if i'm not mistaken and i think you get six or seven thousand gems in return when you unlock and complete this second tier so essentially you're getting them for free however you do have to grind quite a bit and you probably will have to spend a good chunk of ap in order to grind the barbs to do this however very doable lots of players do it and lots of players love this event 
for that reason because that is like a month's worth of vip legendary commander sculptures for free in in like a week or a weekend now there's also other kinds of holiday events where you essentially collect a certain item on the map and you use it to increase the level of whatever that holiday is so for example this is thanksgiving you basically feed your turkey and grow it from a baby all the way to big fat giant turkey uh, i think there was also a christmas event where you like decorate your tree and you get a more beautiful tree over time regardless when you go through this event you're going to get all the way up to i believe it goes up to level 25 if i'm not mistaken and as you do that you'll get rewards and there's also going to be a more premium event currency it'll look something like this where you have the free items you get and then the ones that are a little bit more premium in this case it was like i guess sunflowers there's also alliance events where your entire alliance is going to be donating to a particular goal so this was thanksgiving of 2021 as you can see here and you're going to get a bunch of chests as you complete that uh, that goal together so this is another good example of an event where you're going to get uh, some common currency and some more premium currency and you may be able to get a couple of legendary commander sculptures out of it next we have the more than gems event and this is the event that i talked about earlier when we discussed your vip level so essentially this event seems like at this point it comes around once a month if not once every two to three months but it seems to have been a little bit more common recently however what this event is is a two-day event where when you spend a certain amount of gems that day you're going to get a bunch of free rewards so if you need to purchase let's say master blueprints to get to level 25 this is the time where you want to buy those because they cost 2000 gems each and you're going to get free value free items here just for spending gems at this point as opposed to any other point in the game this is also the event where you want to spend a ton of gems on your vip now the reason for this is if you spend 7000 gems in one day you're going to get five legendary commander sculptures for free and if you spend 25000 gems in a single day you're going to get eight legendary commander sculptures for free so there's a few ways that you can do this uh if you only have 7,000 gems to spend then spend all of them in one day and get five heads for free if you have 14,000 gems to spend then do 7,000 in one day 7,000 the next day for a total of 10 legendary commander sculptures and if you have 50,000 gems to spend then of course 25,000 one day 25,000 the next day and that's going to get you 16 total legendary commander sculptures I personally think that the best value is 7,000 gems per day for two days because 14,000 gems is quite a bit especially for free to play players but again you will want to spend pretty heavily on VIP to at least get to VIP 10 12 or if you're close you can push for VIP 14 as well and you're going to get a ton of value out of that over time as well as the free value that you're going to get here by spending gems during this event okay let's step back from events for a moment and talk about something that everybody can do at any time and that is your expedition now this is sort of a one-time thing meaning when you complete every five levels you're going to get access to a free legendary commander sculpture you see down here there's the first time completion rewards and when i complete level 55 i'll get a legendary commander sculpture at 60 i'll get another one at 65 i'll get another one at 70 i'll get another one and this goes all the way down to 80. now i believe this starts even at the first level five i can't even see here okay i logged into another account and i can see that it goes to at least 20. so i do believe that you get one for level 5 10 and 15 as well but on top of that there's also the rally and garrison side events here that are not on the main path but they're off to the side and these are ones that are going to get you ethel fled sculptures as well as a treasure of the warrior queen now you get one for your first completion and then one every single day after you complete that event so this starts i believe at level 30 uh and it'll go every 10 levels up until uh level 70. it looks like there's not one for 80. but this is going to get you a nice handful of treasure of the warrior queen every single day which if you're working on ethel fled is going to be huge otherwise it's going to give you silver keys which are good in the early game horrible in the late game but on top of that these also have a very small chance to give you a legendary commander sculpture now I want to say it's like one in every like 200 chests or something like that like the drop rate is insanely low for your universal legendary commander sculpture that you can get from this however the sooner that you complete all of these events 
the more you're going to get per day and that does add up eventually at the end of the year you will have a couple of extra free universal legendary commander sculptures unless you are of course very unlucky which has definitely been the case for me it feels like it's been a long time since i've gotten a universal from one of these next let's talk about champions of olympia and also tempest clash which is the sort of boat pvp game mode that i never play but i think is still in the game i haven't seen it in a while or maybe it's been here and i just completely ignored but regardless champions of olympia comes around every once in a while it lasts for it looks like two months and every week there are new rewards and it sure would be helpful if omniarch just moved his freaking webcam so we could see the rewards so if you get 20 activity points every single week during this event you're going to get two legendary commander sculptures one at 10 one at 20 and if this event lasts for up here it says two months that's eight weeks and eight times two is 16. so that's 16 legendary commander sculptures you can get for free just by participating in champions of olympia every week now i know this event is relatively unpopular and that's because it's not very fun but if you're looking to maximize your rewards then you have to be doing this especially as a free-to-play player you should really be playing champions of olympia uh to maximize your value this also goes for tempest clash but i can't specifically say i don't know how long like i don't think tempest clash is for seasons i think it just comes around randomly and i don't know how many sculptures it gives you probably not 16 probably like eight or something like that i i really have no idea but i do know that there are legendary commander sculpture rewards for tempest clash as well so just keep that in mind i'm such a professional youtuber i just move my camera on while i'm recording not bothering to do it in post speaking of professional youtuber we have tons of more tips in this video but if you made it to this point go ahead and drop a thumbs up on it it really helps me out a ton and consider subscribing we're close to 40k all right let's move on to the power up and speed up events so one event that you can look forward to even as a free to play player is the now or never event this event comes around once in a while and you will use a certain amount of speed ups during this event and if you come in first place in your kingdom you're going to get 20 universal legendary commander sculptures if you come in in second place you get 10 third place is five ranks four through ten get uh four legendary commander sculptures 11 through 20 will get three 21 through 50 will get two and 51 through 100 will get you one so ideally if you don't want to spend that many speed ups you can spend you know just to get into the top 50. if you can get into the top 50 relatively easily then that's two free legendary commander sculptures every single time this event comes around now there's other events that are similar to this such as game of power lord of war training day these different events are very similar and you know in this case it's using building research or training speed ups to increase your power so one of the things that free-to-play players have an advantage of here is you can hoard all of your building speed ups and then right before you push to like city hall 25 for example uh you can use all your speed ups at that point during this event and you're going to get a ton of power during that time which will give you a ton of points to try to win this event that's an advantage over whales because typically the whales will just push to city hall 25 as fast as possible and they'll just miss out on the on the rewards for that next let's talk about esmeralda's prayer now this event is not my favorite i don't know some people like it some people don't i think those of you that like it usually get really lucky with these uh special rewards on the end here but this is a relatively new event that comes around every once in a while and you can increase the number of pointers here to increase the number on the wheel and when you spin the wheel it costs a certain amount of these lucky coins and you're gonna get as you can see here a maximum of 35 legendary commander sculptures along with some other really nice goodies here now this is a wheel so it is you know based on chance so for a lot of you you might get speed ups or resources or things that you don't necessarily need but if you are lucky or if you are able to get your hands on a lot of these coins then you know you may get a ton of legendary commander sculptures uh during this event now it's worth noting that um i do believe you get some amount of these coins for free just by doing you know things in the game i think this comes around sometimes for holidays if i'm not mistaken so again on average you'll get a couple of sculptures from this i wouldn't say you would get a ton it's nothing like the 7k gems event but you also will get some other things that you're going to need as well next we'll talk about osiris league and the betting system now this is not always around but the Osiris League is a relatively big deal it's essentially the biggest alliances in the game competing in a bracket format for the Ark of Osiris game mode basically and everybody who plays Rise of Kingdoms will gain access to the ability to bet on who they think is going to win for like the top 
I think it's top 32 top 16 and then all the way up till the very end and you bet using these poker chip looking items called oryx and you can get these oryx for free by just doing daily and weekly quests for things that you are probably going to do anyway and if you are good at betting here then you can get a ton of free oryx and exchange them in the shop for a good number of legendary commander sculptures you can see i think it's five i believe you get five for free uh if you can afford to do so so make sure that you are betting appropriately so as you can see here i'm betting on the uh, disadvantaged side for all three of these events uh, and the probability is that most of them are going to lose there's a reason that people are betting on th on these ones over here but in the event that there's an upset the payout is absolutely massive right because the prize pool for these as you can see it shows you right here the prize pool is huge so even if I miss on a few of these uh, or on most of them all it takes is one or two wins to make back way more than I spent and that is has been uh, my strategy for the past few uh, years during the Osiris League uh, betting system. You also have the Eye for Talent event, which uh, gives you the marks of the champion. And basically this, at this point, you're going to choose who you think is going to win it all, right? And if you're right, then um, you're going to be able to get a ton of those back and spend them however you want at the, uh, at the bottom of the shop here. If your Alliance participates in the Osiris League, you're going to get these as well. And you can see at the top of the shop here, you can get some legendary commander sculptures from there but the marks of the champion can be exchanged for up to five legendary commander sculptures as well so realistically you can see who the favorites are right for eye for talent right um if you're gonna pick the winner um you know 1v for example has way more people betting on it than anybody else in the realm of horus if you go to realm of sobek uh vcs has way more people betting on it than any other alliance so it's pretty easy to tell who most people think are going to win the osiris league unlike the league bets where you are favored for taking risks uh in the eye for talent you are not basically um the sooner you realize who you think the winner is going to be the better because you gain a multiplier for the amount of uh marks of champion you invest i'm not going to get into all that and again you're going to get some free legendary commander sculptures for placing the right bets next let's talk about silk road now i actually also hate this event uh but this event gives you some amount of legendary commander sculptures depending on what level of the event you can complete i also believe there's an alliance portion of this event but you could tell how infrequently i do this based on my lack of knowledge of this event however if you are able to complete the hell difficulty you will get two legendary commander sculptures uh and so you should just be you should just be doing this event if you're free to play that's two free legendary commander sculptures every single time that it comes around i believe this event comes around once a month maybe twice a month uh and again these every you know every two sculptures doesn't seem like a lot but when there's you know four or five events per month that give you two sculptures then that's eight to ten sculptures per month and that adds up over time now let's move into kvk because there's a couple of ways that you can get some legendary commander sculptures for free during kvk the first one is through past glory so the past glory stage three event will give you the opportunity to donate your unused commander sculptures as you can see here i only basically have the legendary ones and i have completely finished the shop plus some um, but essentially if you have a ton of green blue or purple commander sculptures that you don't need they're for commanders that you've already expertise then you can donate them here to get a certain amount of the heroes medallions and those can be exchanged for legendary commander sculptures um even free to play players this is very easy to get 20 commander sculptures for free every single kvk so absolutely participate in this event even if you're too weak to fight even if you're recovering this kvk even if you can't be active or whatever the case might be uh definitely make sure you don't miss the past glory event this is how you get value for the, all those old sculptures that you don't care about and on top of that there's other cool stuff here like golden keys and if you're still working out golden commanders this is a way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures as well additionally there are crusader achievements now this is a way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures just by gaining individual honor and also a certain amount of kills if it's possible for you to do that in kvk um just getting 100k honor is a good way to guarantee a few legendary commander sculptures as you can see you will get three for this one and i believe all you need is 50k to get two from your coalition so there's a bunch of different ways for you to gain legendary commander sculptures just by participating in your kvk uh and again if you can you want to get uh i think it's at least 30 million 
for the maximum amount of legendary commander, commander sculptures um this might be pretty hard for free-to-play players unless you have like Attila Takeda Pakal Herald things like that are, that are going to give you just really good trades but do what you can here to maximize the free sculptures that you can get also during kvk is an event called hearts desire now this is going to use your sovereign keys and this is a really good way for you to spend them because essentially how this works is you get to pick five legendary commanders that you would like to get sculptures of and you have the chance to get them here at a higher probability than if you were to go through the legendary tavern now unlike the legendary tavern there is no guarantee 10 sculpture drop after 200 key uses however because the probabilities are increased here i do think that this is a relatively good place to spend your uh, sovereign keys and you can get those keys for free by doing some things like the particular civilization events for the time of recording this China is the event that is going around and you can get a certain number of sovereign keys for free there's other ways where you can do this where um, there's just like a training event where if you train 2,000 troops per day you're gonna get uh, one key one sovereign key for every 2,000 of each troop type so that's another way that you can you know get some free sovereign keys and hopefully get some of the commanders that you want now of course I do not ever recommend Moctezuma here or Leonidas or maybe even Artemis or Chandragupta I'm just doing this because these two here I only have because I want to unlock them okay and then you get the five dollar bundle but yeah for this focus on commanders you actually want don't don't pick the ones that I have here next let's talk about the wheel of fortune now this wheel event comes around every two weeks I believe and it comes around even at the very beginning of the game now this wheel of fortune is uh, only good if there is a commander that you want on the wheel now I will say once you go through past season three and into season four of KBK you are in what's called season of conquest and at that point you actually get to pick which commander is on the wheel based on their troop type so if the cavalry wheel comes around then you're going to be able to pick any of the previous cavalry commanders that have shown up on that wheel so that's the good news which means there's a high probability that every wheel that comes around will have at least one commander on it that you probably want to spin for so even though this isn't a great way to get universal heads which you do still have a chance of getting uh you can sort of pick which commander you want in the late game which is very very good now this event you can spin at certain milestones as you can see here um the 10 spin spot is insanely good value if you go past that then you probably want to go all the way up to 100 and that's only for commanders that you absolutely want to max as fast as possible so we're talking about in the early game Isong Ye and Alexander and in the late game we're talking about CPO Prime Boudicca Prime and Nevsky those are all commanders that are insanely powerful that you would consider spinning to 100 at the same time as the wheel of fortune is the mightiest governor event which is a six day event where you're going to be getting a certain number of legendary commander sculptures for a particular mightiest governor commander of a particular troop type now in the early game it's going to be just one commander you either want them and you work for them or you don't in season of conquest you're going to be able to pick which commander from a particular troop type so as you can see this is the cavalry mightiest governor that we have going on right now so just like the wheel of fortune this is uh, a way to get a nice chunk of legendary commander sculptures uh for a particular commander not necessarily a universal legendary commander sculpture however again there are a ton of very powerful uh, mightiest governor commanders so for many of you this will be applicable especially for those of you who are small spenders and we'll talk about that later but if you are able to push all the way to rank one which is very hard for free-to-play players but if you save up for a while it will be possible um then you can get 180 legendary commander sculptures of whatever troop or whatever commander you pick second place is 90 third place is 60 fourth is 50 fifth is 40 six is 30 and as you can see here uh the rewards really drop off fast if you're in the top 10 you're only guaranteed 20 as opposed to 180 for first place which is absolutely insane so again if you're going to push hard in this event you want to make sure that you come in first however for those of you who just want to unlock a commander then getting into rank 11 to 15 will get you 10 of that commander and the reason that this is good for low spenders is because when you summon a new legendary commander 
there is a bundle that costs five dollars and that will give you 10 universal legendary commander sculptures which is a very good deal when it comes to legendary commander sculptures per dollar spent for free to play players who maybe want to unlock a commander over the course of two mightiest governors or maybe more than that uh you can get into the top 25 and that'll get you five sculptures or you know three or less next let's talk about the legendary tavern now i touched on this a little bit earlier but this is a tavern that you're going to get access to in the season of conquest and this used to be exclusive to kvk now it's around forever which is very nice now this chest has a chance to get some legendary commander sculptures for some of the more premium legendary commanders in the game now some of the newer ones aren't actually here yet but you still can get really good commanders such as guan yu or william harold uh zenobia yss there's a ton of excellent commanders here uh nebu as well uh, that you can get from opening these keys so every 200 that you open you'll be able to pick 10 of a particular uh, legendary commander to obtain so if you want to unlock a commander that's a mightiest governor commander and you couldn't participate enough to get them from ideas governor this is a decent way to get it if you can again save up 200 keys and what's cool about this is if you get duplicates then you're going to get these coins and you can use these coins to buy universal legendary commander sculptures but this is on a time limit okay so you do want to spend all 200 all at once if you can so keep that in mind and finally you can get legendary commander sculptures from the golden chests now this is uh, the least exciting way to get legendary commander sculptures because there aren't really that many commanders here that you would care about and it is random chance uh so you have the and the reason I saved this for last is because you have the least control here and you have the worst options here as well but um for commanders like Charles Martel or Mehmed or even Mulan these are some commanders that are really solid uh especially in the early game and this is a free way that you can be getting their legendary commander sculptures now a lot of people complain about the drop rate here because they keep adding new commanders to this which dilutes the pool of commanders you can get which does suck however the more gold keys you get the more the average will give you what you want and that's why i think if you are participating in an event that does give gold keys you do want to get gold keys like unless you've expertise the commanders that you care about here um you should try to get as many gold keys as you can now don't spend gems on them or anything crazy like that but you know i would i would go for gold keys they're solid okay now if you're gonna spend money in this game and you're maybe a low spender uh, where should you spend it for universal legendary commander sculptures well the first thing is the five dollar writer of history bundle that appears when you summon a new legendary commander that is by far the cheapest and best value for universal legendary commander sculptures besides that there is also the recharge reward event recharge rewards will give you a certain number of legendary commander sculptures as you make purchases every single day now this entire five day event uh if you are going to spend you do want to go all the way to the end at least to day two for sure um but you have to spend i believe it's anywhere from uh 12 to 15 dollars per day so you know this is more for like those low to medium spenders these typically come around for holidays which means that we are in a prime time for halloween thanksgiving christmas and new year's so we're probably gonna have four recharge events coming up very very soon and i believe you get a total of 35 legendary commander sculptures if you buy out all five days which is extremely good value besides that there's really not a great way to directly purchase universal legendary commander sculptures but you can purchase the daily special offer and this does give you the opportunity to choose which commander you get from the daily special offer so there are some really notable commanders that you can get here over time so Yi song Ye, alexander the great guan yu there's a lot of commanders here that a lot of you probably really want like saladin or maybe even attila artemisia uh there's some really good choices here now if you don't see all these different options that means that you are in a younger kingdom than me so some of the older kingdoms are the ones that have access to Artemisia and Ramses in the daily special bundle. But uh, if you purchase this every single day, it's $5 per day, and you're going to get three chests with at least one guaranteed sculpture, but you can get up to like, I think five to 30 if you're like super lucky. Okay. So as long as this is a commander that you really want, then it's a very good value. And especially if you buy this during the recharge rewards as well. Beyond that, if you're a mega whale, then you can just straight up purchase 20 universal legendary commander sculptures 
in the VIP shop. And this is 2000 gems per, which is very expensive, not great value. But if you are a mega whale, uh, then this is a place where you can spend your gems either during more than gems event or not. All right. That is pretty much every way that I can think of to get legendary commander sculptures. And what's important is that you do all of them when you can. So even the ones that only give you two sculptures here and there, you should do them because they add up over time. And that's going to make the difference in, in one year, whether you have, you know, two maxed legendaries or four, for example. So you absolutely, you know, it might not seem like a lot, but it does all add up with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it to defeat the YouTube algorithm. It really does help out the channel a ton. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we're so close to 40,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Comment down below. If there are any really valuable ways that I missed to get legendary commander sculptures, especially for free to play players. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been on New York. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.